Mark here again. Welcome to my next overview for Beast Wars Transformers. For this episode, Equal Measures. Uh, for this episode, uh, the Maximals are, uh, are preparing to set up these um, Energon obs observation posts, including a bomb that Dinobots made to uh, destroy the Predacon base. Uh, but um, of course, um, the plan sort of set back due to a storm. And uh, Chit, although being confident about being fast enough to do it, he feels he's being doubted by Optimus. I think he's being treated like a kid. And later on, Dinobot, eager to complete this mission and uh, defeat the Predacons for good, uh, ma manipulates Cheetor into completing the mission himself, sa uh, saying he's confident he's fast enough. And this sort of triggers Cheetor's vanity. And guess what happens? Yes, you guessed it. Having been convinced by Dinobot, Cheetor here, the young brash Bumblebee type character, goes out on his own behind Optimus' back to plant the outposts himself. Uh, because he's in a race against time with the storm, uh, he's being a bit successful uh, going along uh, planting these posts, but um, of course a lightning strike causes him to drop one dangerously close to an energon vein which is about to explode and having tr uh, trying to extract it, a second lightning strike sends him um, transporting into the Predacon base. So in a way, lightning did strike twice there. Having been um, uh, somehow transported onto the communications post of the um, Predacon space, the dark side, Cheetor soon greeted by Pterosaur, the um, t uh, Pteranodon of the group, and uh, during a precious fight, Pterosaur ends up landing on this uh, uh, position and uh, gets transported to the Axelon base himself via the post. And she also gets pursued by um, Waspane and Scorpnock. It's not being good, not being a good day for young Cheetor so far. <laughs> uh, being transported into the, onto the Maximal base's uh, communications post uh, and being greeted by Dinobot, uh, uh, Pterosaur's um, um, both him and both Pterosaur and Dinobot soon figure out that a freak accident has caused the um, uh, post lightning and energon to uh, so I'll be combined into a transport system between both bases. And um, whilst Dinobot um, proposes a, a truce, Pterosaur decides to um, uh, develop this into an alliance between the two, overthrowing the Predacons and destroying the Maxwells. This shows Pterosaur's more treacherous side, which uh, shows he's a bit of a starscream of the group. But Dinobot, having dropped the act later on, uh, um, get, after getting all the information he needs, um, ejects Pterosaur out of a um, waste disposal unit. Convincing Optimus uh, that Cheetor, having been transported, might have been destroyed by Megatron by now, he manages to convince Optimus uh, to transport the um, bomb into their base. Um, of course, Optimus wants to give the Predacons enough time to evacuate the base. He doesn't want them destroyed. Uh, uh, Cheetor, at the same time, discovers that um, an energon vein runs underneath both bases, so an explosion could cause a chain reaction that would destroy both bases and the Beast Wars for both sides. And he uh, um, sends a data disk with that information to the base, but um, at the same time, it does a switcheroo with Dinobot's bomb, which anchors into the base. Um, not good, right? Of course, uh, at the same time, uh, the disc uh, which uh, Optimus uh, smells Cheetor sent from uh, plays the information, and uh, Cheetor, meanwhile, is being cornered by Paracons, including Megatron, who's still alive, uh, um, you know, following that Energon explosion from the mountain. Um, and um, actually, or knowing that, well, even though he too was intent on destroying the Pragon base, knows that the Max Hall base will be destroyed as well. So he, he, he unanchors the bomb and Terrasol throws up in the sky, but he gets caught in the explosion too. Uh, Chi or uh, transports himself back, and Megatron tries to hit him but destroys the communications thing. And the post gets shattered, severing the transport connection for good. The day saved once again by the young brash Tito. Hope you enjoy this episode when you see it. If you haven't already, coming next, Chain of Command.